When you have digits and you place them on a place value chart, you've given them a value, and that's how you make a number. That's the difference between the number 8 and 4,532. Letters have sounds, and when you place the letters together, then you have a word. So the sounds make a word. That is why digits make numbers and letters make words. So what is addition? Well, addition is where you're building a number. You're taking two smaller numbers and you're building a larger number. So your answer will always be the biggest and your answer in math is called sum. Look at the example. 10 and 12 are less than 22, right? But when you put them together, then they equal 22. So your answer, your sum, is 22. So now here is a little language arts lesson. Look at the word regrouping, but I want you to look at it in the parts. Re, group, ing. Re is a prefix, and it means again, or it can mean again and again. So in math, that could be a pattern. Group, that means a collection of things. And on a place value chart, you always collect digits by value in the base of 10. Ing. Ing is a suffix, and it means you are actively doing something. And in addition, you are actively building a number. So in order to build the number, you have to know the rules of the place value chart, and it's based on 10. When you bundle up 10 ones, you move that one bundle to the tens group. And when you bundle up 10 tens, you move that one bundle to the hundreds place. And that pattern repeats all the way up the place value chart. So look at this place value chart and the addition. If I have just nine, I'm okay and the nine can go in the ones place. But when I add one, well now I have 10, I have to take that bundle of 10 and move that one bundle over to the tens place. And now I have zero ones, so nine plus one is 10. Now look at the next problem, the number six. If I just have six, I'm okay. The six can go in the ones place. But once I add 50, I can't put 50 in the ones place. The five that's in the number 50, that means five bundles of 10. And I have to put the digit five in the tens place. So six plus 50 is 56. And the number 56 means I have five bundles of 10 and six ones. So look at this very simple problem, eight plus five. First, I have eight ones, and then I have five ones. And what I did was I made one group of 10, and that left three left over. So that one bundle of 10 went into the tens place, and the three that were left over, I placed those in the ones place. So I have one bundle of 10, and three ones, and that makes 13. So our focus today is two digit plus one digit. And you already know how to make a bundle of 10 and move it over to the next denomination. The only new piece is that there's already a digit in the tens place. So what happens when you have to bundle 10 ones into one bundle of 10 and move it over. That is the only new piece that we're doing today. So look at the problem, 18 plus five. And I know that I always have to add the digits in the ones place first. And eight plus five 
gives me 13. Well, I can't put 13 in the ones place. So I have to bundle 10 ones to make a bundle of 10 and move that bundle over to the tens place. But there's already a number one there. So what do I do? Well, let me show you. So I'm going to use the base 10 method to solve 18 plus 5. The first thing I need to do is I need to build 18. So that is 1 tens bar and 8 ones. Then I drew my line because I like to keep things organized and I don't want to get confused because if I make a mistake, I'll be able to find it easier. So after I drew my line, I made five ones. Well, we just said we can't have 13, the eight plus the five, in the ones place. So what I need to do is to make a bundle of 10. So after I make that bundle, I see I have three left over. And what I'm going to do is take that one bundle of 10 and move it to the tens place. Do you see how I did that? So now I have two bundles of 10 and three left over. So eight plus five is 13. And do you see how I split the number 13? I put the three in the ones place and I carried over that bundle, that one to the tens place. And that's what gave me the two tens in the tens place. So 18 plus five is 23. So now is the time we work together. Press the pause button, go grab a piece of paper and a pencil. And when you're ready to get to work, press the play button and I'll be waiting right here. Well, hi friends and welcome back. I've already written some math problems out, so I think that we should get to work, okay? Now, look at this very first one, 14 plus 6. I need to build the number 14 and I need to build the number 6. So let's do that. 14, that's 1, 10, and 4 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4. See, I always make my line there to make sure I don't make mistakes. Now I have to build six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now that I've done that, my work, I have built everything, I can get to work. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoop, that's a bundle of ten. Let's move it over. Now, I have two tens, ten, twenty. And I have zero ones. I think my answer is 20. Let's see, 14 plus six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yep, 10, carry the one, and there's two. I want you to understand this. Four plus six is 10, right? So there's the number 10. I put the zero that's in the ones place here, and I put this one that's in the tens place, I moved it over. That's why you have that. I moved it over, okay? And I already had a 10 over there. I already had a 10. So, 20. I want you to understand that little part right there, okay? I'm not gonna do that again, but I just wanted you to understand that. Now, as always, if you wanna go ahead and copy the problems down, pause the video, work them out on your own, Press play to see if you are right. You're absolutely welcome to do that. But I am going to ask you to do this. Before you start taking shortcuts in math, understand the foundation of what you're doing and stick with base 10 until you automatically know all of your addition and subtraction facts to 20. And be honest. Okay, be honest about it. 28 plus 5. First, we're going to build 28. That's two tens and eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
And now I have to put five ones. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's a lot. So let's count them up. Eight, nine, ten. Well, here's a bundle of ten. I'm going to move that bundle of ten over to here. What am I left with? Ten, twenty, thirty. One, two, three. I think my answer is thirty-three. I think it is. Let me just check. Twenty-eight plus five. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13 has a 3 in the 1's place and a 1 in the 10's place. 2 plus 1 is 3. Yep. Have you noticed this little strategy I do over here? Do you know why I do that? Because I talk about math a lot. And you need to be patient. And so I would do that to make myself slow down so I don't make mistakes. Still make mistakes sometimes. But that's okay. I learn from them. <laughs> I learned so much I make that. <laughs> 67 plus 8. Let's build 67. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 7 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now I have to build 8. I don't have to make 8. I have to build 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, I think we're ready to rock and roll. I'm going to see if I have a bundle of 10. I've got 7, 8, 9, 10. Ooh, I do. Look at that. And I have to move it over. What am I left with? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think my answer is 75. Let me check it another way. 67. Plus 8. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The 5 is in the 1. Carry the 1. 6, 7. Yep, I got 75 two times, so I know my answer is 75. This is fun. Well, let's look at 33 plus 8. I'm going to build the number 33. 1, 2, 3, because there's three tens and three ones. 1, 2, 3. I drew my line so I don't make mistakes. Now I have to build eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can I make a group of ten? Eight, nine, I can. Look at that. I'm going to move that ten over here. What am I left with? Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. And only one in the ones place. Forty plus one is forty-one. Let me check that out. 33 plus 8. 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, and carry the 1, because the number 11 has a 1 in the 1's place and a 1 in the 10's place. 3 plus 1 is 4. My answer is 41. Wow, I got 41 both times. Both times. Let's look at the very last problem. 82 plus 9. I'm going to build 82. There's eight tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and only two ones. Now I have to build nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can I make a group of ten? Because I always have to add the ones first. I can. Look at that. And move it over here. Don't forget that. That's very important. So what am I left with? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. I only have one left over. I think my answer is 91. Let me check. 9, 10, 11. Okay. The number 11 has a 1 in the 1's place, and I carry the other one because there you go. 8, 9. My answer is 91. Guys, this was awesome. You know, I know that with practice, you can do hard things. Okay? So, until I see you next time, guys. So here's a game that you can play. You'll need your deck of cards. You flip over three cards. 
you create a two-digit number and a one-digit number. Now be sure that you put those digits in the right place. Make your tens and your ones columns. And then you practice adding. And the only way to get really good at something is to practice and practice. Now, I know that you can do this, and I believe that you can do hard things. Have a great week. Thank you.